According to a recent online article or post titled Why Sleeping Naked Could Reduce Your Risk of Diabetes, in addition to protecting you from illness, helping you shed pounds, and giving you more energy. These benefits are worth considering, right? Of course, there are some benefits to sleeping naked as well. For one thing, it can actually help you save on laundry costs after all, right? Who wants to wash extra bedding when you don't have to? But uh, this article made my curiosity and it piqued my curiosity actually. Hello everyone, if you are looking for exclusive deals, blogs, educational content every week delivered to your email, subscribe to our newsletter at sugarmds.com right now. Allow me to share my thoughts with you. To what extent am I a naked sleeper? You're going to ask, right? I love it. Is it acceptable for me to wake up to a nude bed partner? Absolutely. Does it mean that I won't get diabetes? Which brings us to the crucial query. Let's have a chat about it, okay? Sleep deprivation, we talked about that before, can lead to weight gain. You heard that from me before, right? One example is that when people are tired, they eat more. Sugar is quick, although subpar, fixed to brain's needs for stimulants. Having less time to sleep means more time to eat donuts, right? Well. Food consumption increases as exposure to these lack of sleep. In addition to that, like hormones like leptin, ghrelin, which are pivotal role in appetite regulation, are reliant on the amount and quality of sleep people get. This means that binge eating ice cream is even worse for you than usual, and that lack of sleep can increase your hunger and appetite throughout the day. Now, a long-term study involving 68,000 women found, perhaps surprisingly, that those slept 5 hours or less per night were 15% more likely to become obese than those who slept 7 hours per night. Well, the average human body temperature fluctuates throughout the day. We call that a circadian rhythm, and that describes it by itself, right? It's natural for your body temperature to drop from time you go to bed until you wake up, usually between the hours of 5 and 10 in the morning. Now, your skin's blood vessels dilate to help with the body cool down. This is because they are a means by which your body cools itself by releasing heat. The natural process by which your body's internal temperature drops during sleep can be disrupted if the temperature in your sleeping environment is too warm or too cold. Well, according to one study from the year 2012, and according to a pretty reliable source, the ideal temperature for sleeping is between 60 and 67 Fahrenheit. There's been some research, according to a study, that analyzed the data from 760,000 survey takers. And summertime sleep disruptions are common because of the increased difficulty in maintaining a comfortable sleep, right, in the room temperatures. But the body's natural ability to regulate its temperature while sleeping may be compromised in a summer day when there is too much humidity and heat. For example, five men who slept in cooler temperatures for a month were found to have significantly increased brown fat, and their insulin sensitivity improved according to a study published in Journal of Diabetes or Diabetes Journal. Unlike the Crisco that coats the rest of our bodies, the metabolically active fat, known as brown fat, viewed favorably because it removes glucose from the bloodstream to help you keep it at a steady core temperature. So it is settled. It is best to sleep outside in the cool air. The reporting team, however, they omit an important fact. Well, the men in the study were naked. 
they were wearing pajamas. However, that's not all. Going naked means a good night's sleep is another claim made in that post. But, I mean, it is true that figuring out how to get a good night's rest can be a challenge. So your ideal room temperature should be around 65 degrees and your core body temperature needs to drop by almost a degree for you to actually fall asleep and stay asleep. However, this requires you to raise your skin temperature, which in turn causes your blood vessels to dilate and so forth, and let off some of that excess core heat. It seems that sleeping naked is going to help that. Celebrities all do that. Why don't we, right? But is it really necessary to get naked in order to get a good night's sleep? That is the big question. The study suggests that actually it may not be the nudity that helps with the sleep, but rather the, the cooler temperature that sleeping naked allows you. So when our bodies are cooler, we have an easier time to fall asleep and staying asleep throughout the night. So if you are looking to improve your sleep, you don't necessarily strip down, simply turn down the thermostat. Well, if you're stingy and you don't want to spend money, then you can take off your pajamas and get naked. There are two ways, so you choose. But the bottom line, yes, sleeping in a cool environment will help you sleep better. So if you are tossing and turning and you feel like you're a little hot, don't worry about bringing the temperature down even if your spouse hates you. That's okay. Lower the temperature, get comfortable, they can always get an extra layer. So anyways, I thought that was a fun topic. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.